All right, welcome to Straight Red Card. We're jamming two shows in one today, um, or for, for the segment in particular, Splat, um, <laughs> and that will be um, the player ratings um, for the last horrendous game that we just played, and uh, that was versus Panama, and it was horrendous. So you can expect some ugly grades for this, and then um, we're going to try to predict Greg's starting 11 for the next game. God, good. wish us good luck, because, I mean, Brad and I used to be, like, really mind-melded with Greg. Like, we could get in his head, and, and we could kind of predict generally what his starting 11 were going to be. I mean, we missed one or two. That's, you know. But um, now, after that last game, I'm so fucking confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. So, anyhow, for those of you who did, did not like some of – I think we got – it's the most dislikes we ever got for a show. And I think the, what was the, uh, the, um, the subject line was scoring with uh, U.S. men's national team player ratings versus Jamaica scoring with your junk. And yeah, we went on a rant there. It was mostly my fault. Um, I was pretty lit and, um, but dude, it was, it was fun. So I don't care <laughs> if you don't like fun. You don't like guys having fun. If you think that makes us a, a fucking sixth grader or whatever, man, grow up. Just grow up. It's, uh, you know, but they're, or watch. Anyhow, the point is we have fun on the show. That's the whole point of the show is having fun. Um, and if some of our jokes are kind of lame, just fast forward to the parts you like. All right. Brett, any additional comments regarding that topic? Yeah, we're not going to be talking about porn today, guys. We might. Show's not <laughs> over yet. <laughs> it could still go there. We never know. Um, all right. We got a big to show today. Let's talk about a, those grades. It's a big show. So make sure you like and subscribe <laughs> and share with all your friends and relatives. All right. So do that. We're not some New York in there, huh? Man, that's another one of my voices I do. Yeah. Yeah, God, I know. I had a um, a girlfriend in, in college who was a theater well, major. Congratulations! And she made me practice all these <laughs> these um, these um, different accents with her, and uh, the and I was we made it a point of practicing those accents together. That that would be the only time she would use those accents. I'm like, because she would use them indiscriminately. I'm like, no, 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 no. We're not doing this. Don't do the accent thing while we're having a normal conversation so you're practicing oh i thought you were talking about in bed sorry no well <laughs> well uh that happened too um i'm just saying so i i made a deal with her that we would put 10 minutes aside you know on a day date to do practice the accent thing for her you know uh play or whatever she was in at the time at iu and it worked it worked she stopped doing the accents anyhow she was really hot um <laughs> no I, yeah anyhow let's get to the player ratings um uh, let's start with turner um this is probably i i feel bad doing this to turner because it's really greg's tactics that turn this into a play it out of the back game mm -hmm. more than it should have ever been which is not turner's strength but i'm gonna have to give him a c plus because he made some errors man i mean he just did it wasn't pretty yeah, I gave him a B minus simply because he did make some big saves uh, thrown in there. He did, which, he, which maybe we maybe we've uh, become numb to and expect from him. In all honesty, it's um, not an accusation. <laughs> but quite frankly, uh, yeah, that, and I almost have to blame uh, our 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 our, uh, field, our other field players, quite frankly, um, for playing yeah. him and putting him in a position where he has to take one touch out you know, just distribution because the players, uh, the opposition was already on top of him. Yeah. And it's yeah. just like, guys, stop playing in the ball like that. Unless he's got mountains of time, stop it. Just stop it. Yeah. It's a sticky situation for him all night. And yes, he did make two really good saves, which is why I gave him the plus. Um, otherwise it would have just been a C. Um, Bello. Oh, boy. Do you want to do this first or me? Uh, I gave Bello a C. Wow, I gave him a key. Now it's he, he's my in my opinion, I think he's out of out of his depth. Out frankly. of his depths completely. Totally uh, out of his depths. So Scally, hey, Joe Scally. He, you know, 
more of an argument for him because if Anthony Robinson gets hurt, you got to have Joe Scally there as the backup now. Bello has this is the same player he was last year and he has not made the step forward. Even I mean he plays okay for Atlanta, but playing okay for Atlanta does not mean you should be on this team. That's all I got to say. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh McKenzie um I'll go first on this one since you did the last one. I gave him a C minus. I gave him a C plus. Why? <laughs> <laughs> he was horrible. He gave the ball away a trillion times. You know, I don't know. It's just he, I don't. Have, nice. I don't really. Have, I don't really have a reasoning for it. To tell you the truth, uh, that's fair. How many times have you watched the game since last time? How many times have I watched the game? Yeah, Since I watched the it first twice. Game? I watched oh, you. You must be the glutton for punishment. I always talk about me being <laughs> the glutton for punishment. You watched just, it. You watched I 180 did. minutes of that. Or, I know. Yeah, 180 I, minutes. I recurgitated, recurgitated that shit and had to watch it again. It was mm. it was gross. It was slimy and pukey. But I did it again and uh, just because I want to get these grades right. Um, but no, I really want to see how, why, and what we fucked up. I mean, this is the most video I've watched after a game for a while. And that was all last night. My parents went to bed at 1030. Ugh. It's like, you know, you, you, you needed something to put you to sleep, huh? <laughs> so I decided something. to watch I decided to watch USA fuck it up again. Well, it's so funny. I, I watched Burhalter's post game interview, wrote all these notes and then read the notes in the morning and went, I don't know what any of these notes mean. <laughs> <laughs> I got to rewatch the goddamn video. How much vodka did I drink? All right. Um, <laughs> Because <laughs> we had it, I mean, it was a late night of drinking with my parents watching soccer. Um, all right, so Zimmerman, I'll let you do that one first. I gave Zimmerman a B. I gave him a B minus. I don't think most of the shit was his fault, though. I don't think the missed passes were his fault because no one was open. But, but there, I, there was there was no movement, and no. you make the pass, and you know the, the op, their player make a flub of their first touch, and all of a sudden, you know. It's just yeah, yeah. It's I, it's, it's similar. It's, uh, quite frankly, it's, it's similar to the reason why I gave uh, McKinsey more of a, a, a C plus in the sense is I can't necessarily fault. I can't fault our center backs in the progression forward to an extent because our rest of our players didn't offer a whole hell of a lot. Right. I'm not saying I'm not saying they didn't flub passes and they didn't make bad decisions here and there. Sure, that happened. Zim- Zimmerman had some bad long balls too. So, yeah, like an old man. Um, it's a bad game all around. So, you didn't even get that joke. <laughs> yeah, some bad, bad long balls, old man. There gotcha. you go. <laughs> it all clicked. It all clicked. All right, I'll do more. I, I'm minus. actually, I'm actually, I'm actually listening to this live recording on a delay. So, it makes sense. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just give you that extra time. Uh, that extra more, time. more, I gave a C minus. Almost a D. I was really close to it. I also gave him a C minus, actually. Hey, I think it may, <laughs> it may have been our first one we got together. Well done. I know. It, it and it might be the last. <laughs> they do that <laughs> that that uh, that right side got owned. Owned hardcore. It did. And it really he, did. uh it just it was not a good game. And you could see the the lack of playing time over the last two months really showing up there. And just I, just it just exposed why we made a stink about him being included over Skelly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Moore is not playing for Tenerife. Five, 59 minutes, I believe, all season. That's garbage. Mm. Um, yes. Did he have uh, some good minutes for us in earlier tournaments? Yes. But at this point, Burhalter was pretty obviously intent on playing out of the back and playing, going back to that old school sort of play it out of the back thing, right? And um, instead I'm sorry, of, I'm sorry, when, more, more is much more of a one v one defender. And they, he in the Gold Cup, I was I was surprised every game that he played because he was getting up in the attack, and that's not necessarily his bread and butter. His bread and butter was be able to shut the shut the right side down. And so you, when it comes to playing out the back, I mean, he, he wasn't offering much into the attack in the end of that. Hell no, he wasn't. And my point was. That when we won those tournaments for Nations League and Gold Cup, 
we went back to playing the old school U.S. soccer way. And that's grit, grind it out, score on a fucking, you know, set piece or whatever. Uh, win one nothing. That's basically the old school way of doing it. And versus Panama, we went back to Greg's ret um, um, retroactive sort of. Um, we went back to what he was doing when he first became coach. Like, I'm going to put my system in here. And mm -hmm. these guys are going to learn how to play it. And that's why we look so suffocated and constipated again. We did. We did. We looked that way for that's a, a bad food. Well, I mean, they went to the wrong <laughs> restaurant or they, or they owed, they ordered Taco Bell. I don't know. Um, Acosta, is it my turn or yours? Uh, it is my turn. I gave okay. Acosta a D. Yep. Me too. Um, actually, I gave him a D minus, but, um, I thought he was as close to an F as possible. That was one of the most horrendous displays of non-skill I've ever seen. Again, he ran around like, you know, a moron. He was all over the place, but boy, everywhere he went, he fucked things up. And But he didn't move as much when we were trying to get out of the back. He kind of like lightly glided left and right into what wasn't even open space because you're moving too slow. God damn it. All right. Well, and so, so the difference between – this is not necessarily on this topic, but I mean it's the difference between Acosta playing a six and Adams playing a six is that Adams covers the, uh, the, the on-rushing wingbacks on whatever side is the weak side. He covers that side so much better than, uh, than Acosta does and he usually breaks up the play because that's where the ball comes back to. And – Acosta just sort of sits there in the six and moves around and it doesn't have a real purpose. And he relies on just being a, being kind of a, a body in the way at times. Zimmerman so, talked about it in his interview. Yeah. They, he couldn't find the six. So mm -hmm. they had to bypass it every time. And, you know, it makes sense. Panama knows that. So they put two guys on fucking, uh, you know, shading uh, Acosta. I don't know why they'd waste two. They really only need one. <laughs> <laughs> but you know they did too on some occasions so yeah we had a bypass it's all mattered it did and acosta was overwhelmed and all i gotta say first touch look at the difference between the first touch from a guy like adams who doesn't even have the best first touch but it's a very competent one and acosta he gets himself so oh, fucked up after yeah. his first touches sometimes i think you mentioned so, that earlier yeah. tonight and at Adam's first touch, while it might not always be the cleanest, is always in a positive direction, whether it's on purpose going backwards or up or moving forward. Whereas, and now I'll bring up a play. There was a play where it cost a, his first touch resulted in a, a, a ball that bounced about 10 feet up in the air. And then uh, Panama ended up having a counterattack. <laughs> I remember that, that one. I was just yeah. sitting there going like, oh, my God. Seriously, this is going to be how the game is going to progress. Because I was oh, early God. in the game, too. I know. And it then he played bad. 90 minutes. And it looked, yeah, yeah, exactly. There's just that, him and the next guy we're about to talk about, Legette. Oh. D minus, D minus, yep. almost an F for me. Almost an F for complete, utter failure. Because, well, it was failure. It was. Legette looked every bit of his age and, and, and injury history last night. Made no effort to go forward. At all, hardly, and just looked hey, lost. He had, he had a nice touch for – he drew a foul uh, in one of the corners uh, off, that created an opportunity, but outside that. <laughs> outside of that, it was just – it was horrid. And, again, we're giving all these guys really bad grades. We're not going to forget to give um, good old Greg a grade tonight no. for that. We're not going to forget it because it's Greg's incompetence that made them look – even more incompetent than some of them already are. Fails to uh, set his players up for success. Absolutely did this time. Did you give Legit a grade? Yeah, I give him the same thing. Oh, D minus. Yeah, I agree. All right. Uh, Musa, uh, it's your turn. I gave Musa a B minus. Well, okay. I gave him a C. Mm. Um, but again, I give him a C, but then I sit there and I look, well, look who he had to play next well, to. No, so, you know? so I'm, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt in the sense that the entire team played like garbage. So, yes, mm -hmm. he had he had some garbage touches. Or not garbage touches. Let me take that back. His touches were perfectly fine. Some it was he, he made, Yeah, he made a couple of extra touches that got dispossessed. 
and kind of resulted in counters. But again, I like I well, mentioned, one of them to- was one of them was serious. Yeah, one of those counters was like almost a goal. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I understand that. Yes, all right, all right. I'm just saying he ended up working his way back into the field. And I thought he did well the rest of the half that he was there. And again, I stress, I was surprised he got subbed at halftime. So I don't know. He was he was one of the the brighter moments in the midfield, in my opinion. And that's uh, was, not saying much because the midfield suck balls. Yeah, absolutely. If the other guys were, you know, uh, a knocked out lamp, he was like a nightlight. Okay. And it wasn't a very big nightlight. Um, so those of you with kids like Brett and I know what a nightlight is. Um, others or those who are afraid not. of the dark, one of the two, or those afraid of the dark. Oh, well, didn't that one guy occur, uh, accuses of both being virgins? <laughs> I like Is my that... response. I, 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 got, I got two spitting images, image kids. So, I mean, there's at least two times. <laughs> well, I, I only have one biological one, but I mean, he's not my spitting image, he looks like his mom. That's you know, um. Anyhow, not going to get into that. <laughs> but come on. If you were calling, you, they were calling us infantile and then saying we must be virgins. No, we're 50 and 40 year old men. All right. With who, who from the, our, loin, from our loins have come children. Um, and I would guess the guy who um, wrote that thinks he's a real stud. Well, good for you, buddy. I hope it's good. I hope it's good. Live it up while you can, because soon you'll be my age. You'll be 50. All right. Um, let's do what is that? Somebody say we something. Did Musa. We just did Musa. So I guess Areola. Oh, I thought That's I said yours. something. I thought I said something bad <laughs> the way you laughed. All right. Um, Areola, I gave a D. Mm. Oh, did I speak out of turn? Was it your turn? Nope, nope. It was still yours because I gave Musa his B minus. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I was torn between a D and a C minus. Again, Ariel, uh, he he offers a lot of effort, but it just didn't click today. Nothing yeah. clicked there. Nice tries. Yeah, I can't do it. I can't do it. I, 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 will, I will always give a couple points to somebody who busts their ass out there. Uh, but again, it just it was not clicking at all. Well, I told you my mom in a texted me in the prior game. Jamaica, where he played really well, she said, I really like all the effort Ariola gives. And I said, Yes, he gives a lot of effort. Um, but his first touch is garbage and he's not a very technical player. And she's like, Oh, okay. I didn't notice that tonight. And I'm like, you know, you were not going to notice it on a night where he, you know, we had a great game. Mm-hmm. And uh then we watched <laughs> <laughs> and then we watched the last game together. I was at my parents for the weekend and we watched that game and oh my god, my mom's like, "Now I'm getting to see what you're saying." <laughs> yeah, first touch touch has been horrible. It was for there were a number of examples I could bring up where Ariola's first decision, first touch was the worst one he could have made. Um and that was when everything else was going wrong too, so he just added to the misery. Um and all the misery wasn't his fault. But he was adding to the misery, which isn't good. Um, you you got way way up. Uh, I gave way a B minus. Uh, I gave him a C plus. So um, I thought, I thought his his the biggest negative of his game in that fifty five some odd minutes or whatever he played uh, was that he was kind of a ghost, and I don't necessarily blame that on him. Yeah, it's not. He played fault. down the right hand side all night long. Look how and, good he, he was when he came in for the, what, 15, 20 minutes last game versus Jamaica when we had mm-hmm. a real thing going. Here he looked stifled. He, he, had, he, had, he had zero help, quite no, frankly. So, no help. And I'm not saying he had a perfect game by any means. I think when he had the ball, I think he, you know, he, did, he tried a couple things. I thought he played well enough with it, which is why I gave him uh, his uh, B-. minus. But again, the biggest the biggest culprit of his game in this one is that he was ghosted. Quite frankly, yeah, just that yeah. entire left side was just. Yep. Well, oh, that's because that's because just... Legette played out left. <laughs> no, I mean Bello was horrible, but again, Wayo was horrible. I'm mean, not not as horrible as Bello, but the whole point is, look at where we're we're pointing out left and right being like 
unused, neglected, bad play. Um, but the whole core of the team, the core, the midfield, mm-hmm. they're the reason none of that other stuff worked were really well. They were the reason. Not Musa, quite, uh, Costa. quite frankly, that top three could have produced. It's just they had no help. And I'm no. giving, I'm giving even uh, as in, even Ariola could have, even with Ariel up there, they could have produced. They just had nothing, there nothing was provided. No them. connection between the back four and the top three because mm-hmm. the three in the middle were god awful. Musa being the only one playing even moderately acceptable. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, Zardis, is it your turn? Nope, yours. I oh, it's up. mine. I gave him a D minus, but it's again, it's not all his fault. Yeah, it's not all his fault, but that was a god awful performance. Every time he, the ball touched him, which was very, very, very limited, it was not good. So and, it, I mean, they didn't put him in a even a situation where he could have made it good. But I gave him a, okay. I'll move it up to a D. How's a D sound? Mm-hmm. All right. I, I was torn between a, a D plus and a C minus. In all honesty, I felt I, I, I'm leaning more towards a D plus because of his uh, his his own goal. <laughs> <laughs> well but, done but uh i don't know again it's one of those things like it's hard to judge and maybe I, i'm i'm a little more uh lenient with our strikers as a whole being one uh, yeah. not necessarily u.s men's national quality striker but just a striker of the past um yeah. and i, I yeah. understand that a, a lot of i mean you don't touch the ball for the majority of the game you get a, you get a handful of touches you're you're not gonna be on your you're not gonna be the most sharp I mean, it's not going to happen. And yep. he got nothing. He got nothing from anybody. So I, yeah. I, I feel I feel bad giving him a bad grade. But it wasn't a great game by any means. But again, he had no help. None whatsoever. Dude, it was like going back to when I played um, U15 ball. Right? And I had some dumb coach. Really dumb coach. He was a dumbass. And he's like, okay. Uh, David Bradley and Derek Ritchie are our best two players. So let's just throw them up top and they'll be the two strikers. And then all the mediocre players will play behind them. How many daisies well, were you picking? Huh? Yeah. A lot. <laughs> it was boring as fuck. We sat, at, <laughs> we sat at the midfield while the other team kicked our ass. No better idea would have been to put me. My natural position would have been center midfield or midfield in general. So I could get David Bradley the ball, but that's not what happened. David Bradley was like six, two, and he was like a 15 year old and he, you know, he was not slow. He was a pretty skilled guy. Anyhow, that's what it looked like last night. It was, or not last night. Was it last night already? Yes, it was last night, Sunday. Mm-hmm. Oh God. Well, okay. yeah, and it won't be last night when they hear this, but yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. I think people are figuring out that we do several segments and then we just post them up and well, whatever happens happens. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, so we, let's try to predict. Are we no, ready? No, do- we have subs. Oh, the subs. Oh God. The, do we have- argu- arguably the better part of the, uh, well, not oh, all of them, Brett, but- Brett, do we have to? Okay. We'll do it. <laughs> all right. Adams for Musa. Um, I, I gave Adams a B. I think he was he brought some stability there, but uh, I think it was a little too little too late. Well, again, not not his fault, but I think I gave him a B plus. Okay, because again, it was night and day him at the six, and you know we we started getting a little bit more control, but even then it was again like you said too little too late. You know, Panama was on. I was was just running it up. You know, so yeah, um, I, I gave him a B plus. I thought, I thought he played well. He I thought he was. He was a, a stabilizing factor. And, and if you take into consideration everybody else's game, I mean, he should be in like an A+. plus. <laughs> yeah. But no, I, no, no. You, I, B+, plus, I think, is a valid, uh, valid grade for him. All right. You got Aaron's. Uh, I gave Aaronson a B. Me too. Uh, Yedlin. I mean, that's kind of later in the game. It's getting harder for me to decide, but I just gave him a B minus or a B. Yeah. I, somewhere I gave him a, around there. I gave him a B minus too. He had a couple of moves forward. He had uh, one real nice one in the box that I think resulted in a corner kick. Um, but we were in panic mode by then. So sure. it was a big fucking mess out there. Like people were 
all over the well, goddamn field. I, I don't I don't understand why Yedlin didn't start. Yeah, why I don't either. He, why didn't he start over more? Why not use the guy who doesn't who hasn't who's got what well, you mentioned 59 minutes since August as the sub instead and you throw Yedlin out there who has experience in CONCACAF because this was a CONCACAF. We got CONCACAF. But he has yes. experience. He can run up and down that pitch and uh lay in lay in across. We saw it against Honduras. It's just absolutely unfathomable. I, I don't it's bewildering. I don't know why he didn't start. If, if Des starts against Costa Rica, that decision right there is the dumbest decision ever. Not not oh. Des starting, but Yedlin not Yed, Yedlin not starting over more. Well, you had Burhalter having one of his dumb moments where he said, "Oh well, the reason we didn't start Adams is because you know we can't play him ninety. Well, you could play him sixty, sixty, and sixty, right? Or sure. 65, 65, and sixty-five. You." dumb moron he doesn't have to play all 180 minutes of this fucking window and the same case we and one of the reasons he said that was because adams had been injured he hadn't been playing a lot so he didn't want to give him a heavy workload and blah 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 blah, blah you know all the regular you know greg gibberish and then we got a guy who's played 59 minutes the whole season for his club team at tenerife shack moore starts instead of Gyander or Yedlin, who is usually a starter when he doesn't have a knock for Galatasaray. Yes, he's missed some games. He's a player who's played in Champions League and has been pretty good, too, for us when we've called upon him. And he doesn't get 70 minutes and then throw in Shaq Moore. I don't get it. I don't. That is just one of those decisions that will baffle me until I fucking die, you know, Whenever why, that why is. wasn't that question asked during the presser? Oh, um, I got Greg, another Greg. Uh, Greg, why didn't you uh, play Yedlin instead of uh, instead of uh, Moore? No one asked that question. Nobody asked why Ma- Matthew Hoppy's ass has fucking bench herpes because he hasn't got off of it <laughs> for for the two games. Nobody asked why De La Torre didn't start the last game. Nobody asked some really key questions. Why Richards hasn't gotten a start? Mc- he plays for Hoffenheim. Right? And Lucio and, played a minute. And fucking McKen- McKenzie rides pine for Genk. I mean, I don't know. No one asks these questions. And it's really infuriating because you could find a way to gently ask that question. But no one asked it during the uh, post game. I kept waiting. When is someone going to say, why didn't Lucio, Hoppy, or uh, Richards get a shot? And no one asked it. We got Peppy. Peppy. We got two. We got two subs. We got two subs left. Peppy B. Yeah, I gave Peppy a B too. Roldan. I gave a no grade because I. What the hell can you grade him on? I didn't notice him. Yeah. I mean, when I did notice him, he made some stupid long ass passes that were to no one. He kicked it to the goalie straight to the the other team's goalie one on one kick, just like over everybody's head. All the way to the goalie. This is not about rolled on hate or whatever. It's just that why him then when you needed a goal, you need an assassin like Matthew Hoppy in on the field, not a rolled on. I know he made that one great steal and whatever that spurred us on yeah. versus Honduras, but this was not the time to do that. Um, and Greg got hung up on old memories or something. He got hung up on a lot of things. Boggles my mind. We're lacking intensity. Let's not use Hoppy. Hmm. Let's not use the most Anyways. intense player on our team. The most, the guy with the most Dempsey killer instinct. Let's not use him. And also, you know, let's not integrate him because I thought the only way to integrate young players was to play them. And here we are in a way game. Don't worry. We're, we have Costa Rica next. We have a chance to integrate him there. No, we're not. We're not going to do it. I guarantee it. He's not starting. Guarantee fucking tee it. But I well, do Dan, think that's Ste- going to make my lineup fucked. But I do think Stefan's going to start. So we'll start there. He'll start mm-hmm. at goalkeeper because Matt had an uh yeah, game. It wasn't his best mm-hmm. game. It wasn't all his fault. But I think that gives enough justification for Burhalter to throw in Stefan. And if Stefan doesn't play him all three games, he'll probably be really pissed anyhow. So this is a good time to throw him in. 
Yeah, uh, I have Turner down, but I can I can un- I understand your point, and it's it's a good point to make. Um, I don't okay. know. I don't know. I, well, I have Turner. I'm sticking with Turner for now, but I wouldn't be shocked nor upset if Stefan played. So who's deep deeper into Burhalter's rectum, me or you? Typically, you. you. Yes, I am. Yeah, I'm up. I'm up that ass. Did some somebody somebody uh, tweeted like. Oh, I tried to channel my inner Burhalter and it really didn't work out. I go, yeah, that hasn't been working out for anybody recently. <laughs> I managed to do it on occasion. So we'll see if I can pull this one off. All right. On the left, Robinson. Left yeah, wing, uh, left back, Robinson. We agree there. Yeah. Let's uh, do right back. If I'm beginning to wonder if Des is hurt. Do you worry that he's hurt? I wonder if he's hurt. I haven't heard anything. The, the the kid the kid's got to be made out of glass because this happened the last window too. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, he was he's legitimate. Came off of an injury and was out for a couple weeks there. But but I mean, I don't know. I didn't see anything in that first game that warranted a uh, hurt an injury. Maybe no, he went off injured. Did he? Yes, oh. he went off limping again. Oh, God, it's a goddamn shame we don't have other options. Okay, if it's really yeah, exactly there. Joe Scally. Yeah. Um right. Dest. But if not Dest because of a knock or a little ankle thing or whatever he's going through. So that, Yedlin. That, Yedlin. that uh we, we brought this up earlier in the segment about why would you start more over Yedlin? And that could be the thing. Maybe Burhalter sees this injury to Dest as enough to not uh start against Costa Rica either. So you Ma- put in Yedlin, but I still don't understand why you wouldn't start Yedlin and then address that third game later, you know? Yeah, it's hard to get into so Greg's if, gar- gargled mind. If if Dest is injured, uh, Yedlin, I guess. Yeah, exactly. So we agree with that. Dest, if if healthy, if not, Yedlin. Um, your center backs, I, I'm guaranteeing you Zimmerman starting. Mm. Um. You don't think Zimmerman starting? I mean, I have I, I, starting. I, I'm fine with Zimmerman starting. Um, He's uh, really good at taking care of Greg's puppies. <laughs> He's starting. He's uh, starting. I have I have Robinson starting and, for sure. Yes. Um, I don't know. I, I again, I, I'm more than content with. I'm, I'd actually I'd prefer Zimmerman to start over McKenzie, but I could see him starting McKenzie over Zimmerman just because. Well, you got to rotate those players, you know. You can't have. Oh my God! No, have, I mean, if if you can't have Miles Robinson play three games straight, how can you possibly play Zimmerman three games Dude, straight? Greg just got <laughs> bitch slapped. He just got bitch slapped this last game. He just he if he doesn't learn that lesson and start the best two <laughs> center backs we have, which I mean could be Richards, right? But I'm not mm. going to go with Richards because. I really think that would make um, Greg's balls tingle. It would make him uncomfortable. And I'm, when I say tingle, in an uncomfortable, hot way. And so he's going to go with Zimmerman and Miles Robinson because that duo worked against Jamaica. Greg's going to need his comfort zone. He might throw Richards in for the last 10 minutes or something like that just to placate him if we're up 3 or 2 nothing, um, Or even if it's, it's tied because he's got nothing to lose. But I think Zimmerman and Miles Robinson are a lock-in. And I, I really love Miles Robinson. And he's mm-hmm. not going to be Atlanta very much longer. And no. Zimmerman, uh, Zimmerman is, you know, he's been just he's, he's, he's been solid. He's been he's solid. Been Gold solid. Cup, he was solid until the injury. And he's been solid this window. He's and like I said, I, if, 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 if Berhalter went out and started the, the top players, yes, absolutely Zimmerman over McKenzie at this point. Uh, although you, you can make the argument whether or not Zimmerman or uh, Richards, but we haven't seen enough Richards yet because uh, Burhalter, apparently, despite the fact that he plays 21 players in a window, can't play a handful of Euro players. That was my mind, but whatever. Maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe that handful of players will get a chance this game. Dude, the guy Zimmerman's been captain for the last two teams. He has been, yeah. You can't tell me he's not going to be the captain starting in, in this game. How did he get captain over Adams in the first game? I mean, don't I get me wrong. Under- I thought I think he did fine, but I mean, Adams is like captain. <laughs> Zimmerman is really good at um, taking care of puppies. So yeah, that's 
the only thing I can think of, you know, that's getting old. So I'm going to have to come with something new now um, about why. Um, I'm going to say Zimmerman is really good at watering Burhalter's roses. Oh, roses. roses. You don't have to water hostas. Hostas grow regardless. I don't know anything about that, Brett. <laughs> Why well, I, I mentioned hostas and I was correcting myself. Like if there's one plant you don't have to water, it's hosta because hostas are like super freaking hardy. <laughs> you and your my mom should have gone off into a separate room and <laughs> talked about fucking plants. My I don't want to fuck not... I'm not gonna talk about fucking plants. I don't fuck plants, guys. <laughs> Can we not bring up fucking about a sentence after I talked about my mom? <laughs> You're the one who brought it up. <laughs> All right. Well, I did say fucking and I did say yeah, plants, you but you made, you made it worse. All right. I said I don't fuck plants. Who fucks plants? You? No one No one fucks plants. Come on. Who I knows? mean, they fuck people fuck animals. They fuck whatever, <laughs> but they don't fuck plants. Okay. Well, and I don't, I don't know why like, you brought it up. I don't recommend any of that. All right. Uh, especially poison ivy. <laughs> Do not fuck poison ivy. That's bad shit. All right. Um, Adam's. I think we start as the six. Yeah. Come on. No question. I mean, come on. No question. Come on. <laughs> and then um, I'm going. No, I'll let you do your two eights. Uh, I've got McKinney and Musa. Okay. We agree. We agree. Mm -hmm. But after that last game, now I'm not so sure about the Musa part. Don't, I'm like don't, starting don't, to worry. Starting I'm to worry. If I'm Musa, uh, I think uh, having. No, Adam... I'm worried about Greg, not oh, you. Oh, Greg. Okay. Sorry. That's, yeah. That's I'm worried about. Okay, so even if he doesn't start Musa, he better start like uh, De La Torre or not going to happen at that point. I'm just saying, no, nope, don't start nope. legit. Don't start legit. Don't start legit. Don't start Acosta. Don't start Acosta. Oh, <laughs> don't start rolled on. Don't start rolled on. Please, not any of those three guys in the midfield. Please, none of them. I want Adams, McKenney, Musa. That's what I want. And if it's not Musa, I want De La Torre. And nothing else is acceptable, Greg. G -g you got it? Good nothing job. else at this point is acceptable. God, I'm getting really frustrated uh, <laughs> last game. Uh, all right. Left winger. Left winger. Well, no, there's no there's no discussion here. I mean, maybe... No, there, there could be a discussion, actually. Um, yeah. Because I think both players that I have, in theory, should start out left. But uh, I would uh, I would probably put Hoppy out left. So because I, I want him to cut in on his right and rip shots. Yes. So I agreed with you. I moved Aaron's into the right wing. Yes, it, that's what I was saying. That's why that's why I came back and I said, well, both players should be out left because both players cut it to the right. Aaronson is sort of a converted midfielder. He can play. He's universal. He is, yeah. yeah, he he can play right wing. He yeah, abso absolutely. There. And. Don't get me wrong, Hoppy can play out right if he wants to, but no, there's he'd be much stronger on the left hand side because just like Polisic, that ability to cut into your right foot and rip or slot the pass or do whatever you have to do uh, is going to be more to his strength. But again, plus he'll bring that... intensity and verticality. <laughs> verticality. <laughs> but okay, but isn't that kind of our wank dream? Because I don't think Hoppy's going to get the start. <laughs> uh. He's I better. don't think Hoppy's going to get start. I think well, it's going to be. You think it's going to be way again? I think it might be, and I won't. I won't. Won't complain if it is. True. True. I mean, yeah, it's it's a good point. If Waya starts again with Aaronson on side, and uh, I guess we, I guess we both can agree that Pepe's going to start center. Um yeah. That that wouldn't. I I wouldn't have a problem with that at all either. But I Hoppy hasn't played a fucking minute. I know he's I fresh. Heard. He's fresh, and we need to rotate players. Throw him on the pitch dude yeah he's so fresh but i don't i heard through the grapevine that greg didn't like the shirt he made with the greg on it with the sunglasses it was, so, it was because he was missing the joint right uh that, no, that's I, the meme the sunglasses come down the, the joint comes up you know i heard it was because he didn't like the um the dynamics of the artwork he thought mm. that it looked cheesy been this, pixel versus yeah, the sunglasses really? pixel thing. He's not. He's really not into that. Mm. He's more into Art Deco, and that. So he, yeah, he was not happy with the shirt. Yeah. I mean, he he had a drink and he celebrated with Hoppy, and you know, maybe they all made up. But God damn it, Hoppy, get 
some minutes, dude. This is just <laughs> getting ridiculous at this point. It's so ridiculous. It's 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 almost absurd. It's absurd. And if Richards doesn't get at least 20 minutes in this ne- next game and De La Torre as well, I just think Brett's – I mean, I'm sorry, Brett. What? Brett, I think Greg has <laughs> lost it. He's just lost it. He's not paying attention, and he's just going, like, super conservative. Like, <laughs> anything that might yeah. tickle his asshole, he's just, like, worried about it. Hey, dude, sometimes you got to take a chance, and if it ends up in your asshole – it ends up in your asshole, but you got to take a chance sometimes. There, there's a part of me, and I, this is a small part of me, but there's a part of me that thinks that Burhalter just doesn't want to be shown up. So if 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 he plays rolled on, or if he plays legit and he cost up there, and we win, he can be like, no, see, this was the plan all along. So you keep trying, you keep trying, you keep trying, and sometimes it works, other times it doesn't. But the idea of of starting some of these other players. Like a hoppy over aerial in the first game. Yeah. Yep. I mean, okay. remember, that first game was pretty, pretty legit for what we had on that roster, what we would expect, what wanted to expect. Yep. But I mean, <sighs> Let, nah. okay. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me explain that last asshole joke, by the way. So when you, let's say you have a, a butt thing happening in your life and it hurts, right? And you're like, well, I could let this go for like a week and um, or I could go to the doctor. And that's sort of the decision you just have to make. Right. And so if you're going to make that decision, if you have a butt thing going on, that's sh- you might be going to the doctor and he's going to do check your butt. All right. So sometimes you have to take you have to step out of your comfort zone and do what's right. Like if you want a good, healthy life, you go to the fucking doctor, even if it means you know, something's going up your butt because that's the right thing to do. But Greg doesn't like to do that. Greg doesn't like any discomfort. He doesn't want to try anything fantastically new. He wants to stick to players he absolutely feels comfortable with, the Acostas, the Legets, the Roldans. And nothing against Roldan. He had a fucking fabulous game against Honduras. I'm just saying... So legit? Yeah. Well, Mm -hmm. that's true. It's true. So, I mean, sometimes I understand, like, why he wants that comfort, really. I do. I get it. I sit back sometimes and I go, yeah, I get it. I I understand why he wants to stay home and not have his butt checked. But uh, sometimes you're going to have to try something with the players that are fresh, new, raring to go, have fresh legs, the De La Torres, the Richards, the Hoppies. I mean, I don't know what's going on behind the scenes at practice. Um, are they just playing badly in practice? I don't know. I don't know who knows that. Maybe Meg knows that, right? Mm-hmm. But uh, we don't. We don't know it. We're not invited to practices, so um, nor, nor do we have a press pass. <laughs> and we're never going like, to have a press. Oh, pass we're, at this we're a member of press. Are you sure? It looks like your press pass is drawn with crayons. And the P is backwards. Yeah, my son did it. Yeah, we're never. Can I get in there? We're never going to have a press pass again. That Those days are done. We're not on big soccer. Um, and we're a lot more rowdy than we used to be. So, uh, yeah, I don't see that happening. All right. Um, I think that's it for the show. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Have... First whoa, whoa, off, you two got things, more? Two things. You got more. You got two things. Not Expectation thing. against Costa Rica. What do you think? Oh, we're supposed to call the game. And we totes, um, we totes forgot a grade. Oh, we forgot Burhalter? We forgot Burhalter. D minus. I, I mean, we've already bitched about him in the other segment. I, I, I feel like if there's any candidate for an F, I feel like that must have been it. I mean, it's, it's, it's like it, there was. He didn't lose three nothing. He could have. You're right. So maybe I give him an F plus. I just <laughs> if there's any candidate for an F game, that would have been it. Okay, I'm with you. I'm with you. I've changed my mind. Hey, we're going F. Going for F. Failure. Don't worry. Or... He's going to rebound against Costa Rica. He's going to come away with the win. Fingers crossed. And then and, uh, we're... Yeah. this time I won't lose money. Earl Halter. 
Are you lost money on that game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Been, oh um, my God! You should have pulled dude, that. Bet, we, bet. we we were cut. We were coming off of a, a beautiful 2-0 win against Jamaica, where we just flat out dominated the field. But and then I'm like, <laughs> okay, no, I feel like we're gonna. This is before I got the roster too. I made the bid early. I should have waited till the roster came out. Yes. What was I yes. thinking? I don't know. Oh, no. I mean, again, that was the most erratic roster change i've ever seen um so um no good no bueno yeah no bueno there you had another one you said two two things yeah it was the grade and then it was the result what do you think is gonna happen in costa rica or against costa rica um i think it's gonna be a little tight we're gonna be a little puckered up in the beginning because what just happened and even though we'll have McKenney there and Adams there, and that'll make us feel all better, I think we might give it a give up an early goal, hmm. and then we're gonna have to come back. And I think maybe we pull it out in the 80th, two one USA. Hmm. What's yours? <laughs> I, I just said we're gonna win. I, I didn't. I didn't give a score. Uh, I will uh, happily go. 2-0. I think we're going to come out of this game oh, with, with much more intensity. It's a pretty consistent scoreline for us, regardless of who we play uh, when we win. Um, so I'm I'm saying that I think, I think our players are going to be hungry this match. I think they're going to come out with intensity. It's possible we give up the early goal. It's kind of been an MO for moments here and there. Yeah. But uh, quite frankly, I think we're going to take it to uh, Costa Rica. And I think Costa Rica is going to put up a fight. Don't get me wrong. But I think I think we're going to come out with the win in here. And that's uh, we better come out with the win here. We can't, we, draw point, we can't draw points at home. No. We, we have to come out guns blazing. We just totally fucked up in Panama and didn't even get a point out of it. And let, well, let's just Mexico. We got Canada and Jamaica away. We need oh, to get more my. Points. yeah, yeah, dude. I mean, people got to start doing the math. This isn't going to get easier as we go along. This was the easiest window. This was the window where we're supposed to get seven points to nine points. We just screwed that up. So we need to get uh, three. We need to get it badly. We need three here really badly. And, and according to the soccer OG, uh, Max Bredos. That you know, if we don't, Burhalter's gonna. It's he's at risk. We don't agree with that. We think Burhalter's not at risk because well, who, are he's, gonna who are you gonna replace him with? It's we're kind of we're kind of stuck here, guys. That's a good question. People have said Matarazzo at Stuttgart. Well, that's a big leap for Matarazzo. He just got that job at Stuttgart. Um, you could maybe make that. I mean, David Wagner. He's pretty busy. Uh, with his new club at Young Boys, um, no, I do not think at this point, unless you know he's a sacrificial lamb. Um, I do not think that um, uh, even our buddy at, at Leipzig is going to barring, barring Marsh getting let go tomorrow, which I don't want. No, I don't either. Uh, we, 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 even with Burhalter at the at home, guys, we can win and we can move forward. He just needs to stop overthinking shit, and he needs to start just playing the players. How about my guy at Zwickau, Joe Enox? <laughs> he play, hey, he's a manager down in Bundesliga 3. All right, no, no, not him. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know who you go with in a pinch. The only guy that comes to mind where I'd be like, yeah, that dude could figure it out um, would be Bob Bradley. I like if you threw, but Bob does not does not want to have anything ever to ever do again with U.S. soccer, USSF in specific. Done, bro. He, he's like fuck Done. those guys. I mean, I, I mentioned this before, but at a party in Chicago, someone I knew was there said, and they this was like pretty soon after he was just released from U.S. soccer. Man, apparently he went on some sort of diatribe and <laughs> about his release and etc. So, yeah, I don't think he is. Um, I don't, he, you could probably talk him into it. We do have some new leadership. There's McBride, 
Um, of course, there is Ernie. Those guys weren't there when mm -hmm. he got fired. So that might help, obviously, a new U.S. president. Uh, and I think Bob would do it out of his loyalty um, uh, to the United States soccer players. But he wouldn't do it to you for his loyalty to USSF. So there's would he too. be compelled to bring in Bradley though into midfield? <laughs> you mean his son? No, I, I mean, think Bob's going to start the midfield. Yeah, uh, do you think he <laughs> do you think he'd bring his son back? No, because Michael's not earning it this year. He's just not. I don't think he would do it. I really don't. I think Broad Bob would go. I mean, maybe it's like a, a backup to um, Adams, but Adams is your guy. Dude, could, would you, could you imagine the uproar? The uproar that would occur <laughs> if Bob took back over the home and then brought in Michael immediately. What, <laughs> Mike, Michael over Acosta? I it mean, doesn't matter to me at this point. If, if there's one player in such contention as far as uh, nepotism, and not, not saying that we said this by any means, but a mm. bunch of people said this. And oh, yeah. uh, just, just you know, like the, oh, God, any roster that doesn't include Michael Bradley would be great. Uh, you know, uh, those were all being said. I could not imagine them being quiet. Yeah, if, they wouldn't. If he be. got brought in. No, they wouldn't have. And I don't think it would happen regardless. But I, I mean, I brought that up as a joke, really, just to play along with that. But no, no, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think that. Uh, I, don't I think, think I think Brad, I think Bradley would look at our 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 pool of players and say, "No, I'm fine. I think we're good." I, I think he'd bring a lot more European guys, like Michael. Michael can just keep counting your cash in Toronto. We're good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think there'd be some guys that be immediately dropped off this roster. Mm -hmm. um, if Bob Bradley took over tomorrow and you know who they are. Mm -hmm. um, so, but I do think even during Bob's reign, we would have like just a handful of MLS players. Again, this is not an anti MLS thing. They'd be different players probably though, but they would be different MLS players too. Um, they wouldn't be the ones we're looking at right now. I mean, he'd have his own preferences, so uh, it would change. Like, uh, I think Zimmer would probably stick to stay on there because he played for Bob briefly. Um, but then Pepe's he not let, going anywhere. But then he let him go. So, mm. um, and then there's Pepe. I think there are certain guys that are going to like Turner. I think everybody knows that Turner's like one of the best MLS goalkeepers out there right now. So, I think there are some guys that are going to stay on. I don't think he. I don't think he's stooped to play to bring his, uh, Michael back in. No, I no, I don't think so either. I think he's <laughs> this is all hypothetical because Bob's not coming back regardless. Exactly. All right, uh, that's going to do it for this show. Um, that was our long ass preview for the next game. Um, I hope you like it. I hope you farkin like it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share it with your grandma. Um, if your grandma's too old, you could share it with your uncle or your aunt. Um, you could share it with your sister. You can share it with your brothers, too. Like, try to say, hey, this show, this show might get you interested in soccer, guys. Try to watch this show. They, you know, they're, they're, they're kind of clowns. Um, we, had, uh, we had mentioned it earlier that uh, some, some of our uh, listeners have been getting unsubscribed by YouTube. Yes. But if you, if you click on that little bell, that notification bell, you'll know that when you get unsubscribed because you won't get notifications about our show. Then you're That's like, whoa, true. something's wrong. I'm not getting notifications. I better go check to make sure I'm not unsubscribed. And, and just so there's not a conspiracy theory out there, it's not just us. There are a lot of YouTube yep. YouTubers who are where YouTube is unsubscribing their subscribers. It's YouTube maintenance. I'm not sure what the maintenance is, but they do it. It happens. People but think about it all the time. But one of the guys that just got unsubscribed for us is like one of our most avid supporters. So that's weird. Bert. Bert watches every show we do. He's actually developed several graphics things for us. And he was like, dude, I just got, I'm not subscribed to your show anymore. I'm like, it's normal. It's normal. I've had to resubscribe to my own show twice. So if you notice that you're not subscribed anymore, make sure you resubscribe. And ring the bell, all those things. And until uh, the next time on Straight Red Card, let's let's go beat Costa Rica, please. <laughs>